So far, uh, we have discussed about what is network and uh, what are the benefits of networking and what are the different types of networks that are available and presently using uh, using by the by by the corporates and uh, and what is subnet and what are the hardware that a subnet consists of uh, a router and then a transmission line and how can we uh, uh, what are the various ways of uh, transferring the data wireless and wire the satellite and different types of networks that's fine that's all fine so using this you can send a data from one mission to other mission but how can these missions understand the data for example uh, a host mission sends uh, uh, a host mission sends uh, data from United States of America to the host mission which is present in the Bengaluru. The protocols in India is different. The protocols in uh, American uh, computing, uh, so computing is different. So because of that, these systems can't understand. To solve this problem, what we can do? So what we can do is we can use a networking layer. So that's what this module about. So the networking layer is part two of module three of iDevops for you course. So here we are going to explore all the layers, the physical layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer, application layer. So all those layers, we will delve into each and every layer and then we will discuss about uh, each and every protocol that is connected with the each layer in this part of the uh, course. So the first uh, computer networks were designed with the hardware as the main concern and the software as an afterthought. So this uh, strategy no longer works. Network software is now highly structured in the in, in the following section, we examine the software structuring technique in some detail. The approach described here forms the keystone of the entire module and will occur repeatedly and later on. So let's begin with the layers or levels. To reduce the design complexity, most networks are organized as a stack of layers or levels each one built upon the one below it the number of layers the name of each layer the contents of each layer and the function of the each layer differ from one network to other network however the purpose of each layer is to offer certain services to the higher layer so while shielding those layers from the details of how the offered services are actually implemented in a simplistic sense in a simple sense each layer is a kind of virtual machine it's each layer is a kind of a virtual machine offering certain services to the layer above it which is above it i'll show it i'll show i'll show these things okay then we will move on to protocol when a layer n example let's take layer 3 on one machine carries on a conversation with the layer 3 on another machine the rules and conventions and, and conventions used in this conversation are collectively collectively known as the layer 3 protocol so basically a protocol is an agreement between the communicating parties on how the communication should proceed so as an analogy 
when a woman is introduced to a man she may choose to stick out her hand he in turn may decide to either shake it or kiss it so bring his hands together to say namaskaram depending depending on from which uh, part of world he is for example on whether she is an american lawyer american lawyer at a business meeting or a european princess at a formal ball or indian guru or a sanyasi so violating the protocol will make a communication more difficult so if not completely impossible so what will we do is let's do uh, let's uh, do uh, that layer network illustration you can see we have two hosts and this is a five layer network illustration you have a host one and then host two a five layer network is illustrated uh, exactly in front of your eyes so the entities uh, uh, comprising the corresponding layers on different missions are called peers the peers may be a software process software processes hardware devices or even human beings in other words it is the peers that communicate by using the protocol to talk to each other so in reality no data are directly transferred from layer n on one mission to layer n on another mission instead each layer passes data and controls information to the layer immediately below it until the lowest layer is reached so below layer is below layer 1 is the physical medium through which the actual communication occurs in this illustration if you see the uh, infographic in front of your eyes the virtual communication is uh, shown using uh, by dotted lines and uh, physical communication by solid lines and if you see between each pair of adjacent layers layer 5 and layer 4 the interface it's called layer 4 by 5 interface the interface defines which primitive operations and services the lower layer makes available to the upper one when network designers decide how many layers to include in a network and what each one should do one of the most important considerations is defining clean interfaces between the layers so doing so doing uh, by providing clean interfaces between the layers in turn requires the each layer perform a specific collection of well understood functions in addition to minimizing the amount of information that must be passed between of layers clear cut interfaces also make it simpler to replace one layer with a completely different protocol or implementation example uh, replacing all the telephone lines by satellite channels because all that is required of the new protocol or implement is that it offers exactly the same set of services to its upstairs neighbor as the world wanted that's it nothing much so it is it is a common uh, uh, it's common that different hosts use different implementations of same protocol often written by different companies so in fact the protocol itself can change in some layers without the layers above and below even noticing it so a set of uh, layers and protocols is called as a network architecture a network architecture so the specification of an architecture must contain enough information to allow an implementation to write the program or build the hardware for each layer so that it will correctly obey the appropriate protocol neither the details of the implementation nor the specification of the interfaces is part of the architecture because these are hidden 
away inside the machines and not visible from the outside. So a list of protocols used by certain system, uh, one protocol per layer is called protocol stack. So if we take the app, uh, the infograph which is in which is on your screen so how the data transfer takes place from layer 5 to layer 4 then 4 to 3 then 2 to 1 then it will go to the physical medium what is our physical medium here the physical medium and and at the same time the protocol for the layer 5 of the host host 1 and the protocol of the layer 5 of the host 2 should be same same the protocol of uh, uh, the similar layer in host 1 and host 2 should be same so then once it reaches to layer 2 then the data will be transferred to the physical medium the physical medium it could be an optic fiber or it could be anything so the physical medium will take the data and it will put it into the layer 1 of the host 2 as it is so layer 1 and layer 1 of the host 1 and host 2 has the same protocol so then it can be easily understood by host 2 then it will go to the layer 2 and then it will go back to the layer 3 then it will go back to the again it will get back to the layer 4 and finally it will get to the layer 5 so layer 5 a user can see and understand what uh, the data is about